Hello everyone, I am back with another haul. Um, I ran and I checked a lot of dumpsters today and I was having no luck. And when I went out to um, my doctor's appointment, I decided I would check some places there. It's the town closest to me that I don't go very often because it is just loaded with other divers. Um, every time I go out there I see another diver. Today I seen another diver. Um, the one store I stopped at, uh, they were getting a truck and their door was open. So I didn't check them and I decided after I went to the doctor I would check and I'm glad I did. I don't know if this stuff was in there before or after, but I found it. <laughs> so, um, but some of the stuff came from other places. Um, so I'll get right into it. We'll start at this end. Um, I'll move this over. This is from the DG closest to me that I normally don't dive at. And actually, I seen the employee kind of peek open the door. I had gone into the store for something. And uh, I decided to check the dumpster while I was there. And I, I noticed it was only one employee working. So I figured it was a good time to check. And maybe I wouldn't get caught. But I, she did peek the door open and see me. So hopefully that doesn't cause any problems for me up there. But there was a um, pair of these like men's slide on shoes. I found some of these before and uh, me my husband and my son actually use them. I am a smoker so I use these when I go outside and have a cigarette. Um, I don't smoke in the house. I don't smoke around my kids. I try not to. Um, but these are nice to just slide on and run outside for anything. I actually have a pair on right now. <laughs> but uh, the slinky was in there. There was a bunch of that dog food in there. Um, I didn't grab it because I know it's on the recall and um, I just don't want to bring home a bunch of dog food. Have it actually be on the recall and then have to do something with it. But I did grab a different bag of dog food. I'll show you in a second. But there was a grab bag in there and it had uh, a bunch of these spicy nuts and Cajun sticks and these expired September 30th. Um, all of the food items I will take to that pantry and I'll let them decide, you know, maybe I'll um, highlight the expiration date to let them know that it is expired, but, you know, it's up to you. I actually looked up Hostess says that they do a 45-day um, date on there, but they're guaranteed fresh for at least 65 days. So you know that there's at least 20 more days after the expiration date that they guarantee it. So, but there was, let's see six boxes of these cupcakes. I wasn't sure I looked for a recall because I've seen a lot of other divers um, find these as well, but I did not see a recall. It was just they're out of date. This is the 27th. Today is the 29th. Um, some of them are the second, so some of them are a little bit older, but like I said, they're still good. Uh, there was this dinner taco dinner kit hard and soft it was open but everything is sealed in packaging inside of there and there were two boxes of these coffee cakes which I'm going to keep one for myself because I do like coffee cakes and I will eat them I don't care that they came out the dumpster I know that they're good they were in a bag um, there wasn't any dumpster juice anywhere near them <laughs> uh, just one second I'm gonna close my door all right hopefully it's a little quieter now um, so that was, oh, and this is the last thing I found from, um, the DG is this bag of Rachel Ray Nutrish. Uh, it's good until 2022. They threw it away. I can't get to it. Oh, right there. You can see they duct taped it. They had a hole in it. They duct taped it and threw it in there. So I grabbed that. I will try it again with my dog. I'm not sure. I don't think that he liked that kind before. And if not, my brother-in-law will take it. I guarantee he's the one that has a bunch of dogs. So he's usually always willing to take anything that I have. <laughs> uh, so then I stopped at the fabric store and like I said there was a truck there so I went to the other craft store that's like a man's name and I found there was two of these in there. One of them had the lid off and it was spilled all the way. This one is had leaked out a little but it's still good I'm sure. It's just white acrylic paint. And that's a big old jug of white acrylic paint. So that should last me a while with all my crafting. And then these were in there. And I seen uh, Daily Diver found some of these. They found a bunch of them. I grabbed four. There were probably three or four more in there, but they were buried. And they had like a big heavy picture frame on them. 
that I, I couldn't get out of the way. I already had to pull like three or four big bags of um, packaging out of the dumpster to get to these. And you guys know that I dive during the day, so it makes it a little more difficult to pull things out of the dumpster. Um, you know, and if you get caught, then you have to try to clean up your mess real quick. Because I still don't want to leave a mess, even if I do get caught. Let them know that, hey, I'm not that kind of diver. But there were uh, four, I grabbed four out of, our, out of there. I don't know what you do with them. I don't know if you put them in your flower bed or you line your pathway with them. But they're really cute. Some of them have the, um, the ribbon is falling off, but that can be fixed real easy. So that was all I got from that store. And then back to the fabric store. So I went to my doctor um, and then I stopped back by this dumpster and they were all closed up. So I was excited. The very first thing, sorry, excuse me. The very first thing I seen was um, this pillow. It has like a, I think it's a peasant. I can't remember what that is. So maybe it's a turkey. I'm not sure. But this pillow was on top. I don't see anything wrong with it. It has a little bit of dirt on the back. You can see right there. But I wiped it like it was all the way up. I wiped it off up top there and it's perfectly fine. So I don't know if that's why they threw it away or if maybe it was a return because there was like one of the little fake animals that they sell in there. It was in there with it and it was this animal, whatever it is, but the head was broken off it. So maybe somebody bought both and then returned them, didn't like the style. But this was a $40 pillow and it's probably half off right now. So still $20. And that's crazy. <laughs> I usually make my own pillows unless I find them in the dumpster, but I, it's not really my style. It's cute for Thanksgiving. It has like leather, um, that's leather right there, but I'll probably um, end up giving that away to somebody or, or post it on Marketplace because it's not really my style. It's a really nice pillow though. Um, and my husband's already complaining that I have too many pillows. <laughs> so I have a tote downstairs with pillows that are like my everyday pillows because right now I have my Halloween ones out. But this, uh, I'll move, I'll get to this first before I, I know you guys are probably excited about that because I was really excited to find that. But there was these in there and they're supposed to be bowls. You can see this one is, is broken. This one is a little less broken and that one is even a little less broken. They're supposed to be bowls, but, um, they're broken. I figure I can maybe try to use the parts for something, um, or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'll do with those yet. But this welcome sign was in there. This long welcome sign has the tag. Let's see, it was $50. I'm not sure what was there. I tried to look it up on their website. I didn't see anything, but I can put anything I want there, really. And it's a real cute welcome sign. It's like a, a fabric with the wood frame. So that's really, really cute. But this Letters to Santa thing was in there. And I seen that. Uh, was right on top. It was actually on top of this. I didn't see this at first. It was laying on its back on top of a cardboard pallet, so it made it blend in real well. But it was on its front, so I couldn't see the damage done, but I took it anyway, even when I could see the damage, because I'm pretty sure that I can fix that. Bend that back out so that I can open the drawer on here, and that's really cute. I looked this up online. It's $80. It's so cute, though. I wouldn't ever pay $80 for it, even like right now it's like half off, so it's, um, what, $40. I still wouldn't pay $40 for it. Maybe $20. I might do $20 because it's really cute. You put the little letters in the top there, and it just looks like a little mailbox. So that was cute. My husband said he'll try to help me fix that. And this joy sign was in there. You can see the O. The rest of the O is broken off, but I can fix that. Um, probably with a piece of foam board and cut it to the shape to fit and that's a big old sign I think that was 80 as well I tried to look everything up online so I could see what it looks like more than the price on it just so I can see what it looks like what it's supposed to look like uh, when it's not broken but this little basket was in there it has the handle missing I can just um, cut the other handle off or something even put like some fake greenery over the side so you don't see it. And this candle is in there and it's um, it's peppermint, I'm pretty sure, or candy cane or something like that. It's what it, it smells like a candy cane. So not too bad. I found a nice Christmas haul. My uh, fabric store, you guys know, has been destroying really bad. And so I haven't been able to find much from there. So I was pretty excited to uh, make the trip over there 
and actually find some goodies in that dumpster. I don't normally find a lot on that side of town. Like I said, there's a lot of other divers. Um, there's a lot of homeless, a lot of other divers. Um, and I'm, I've forgotten which day. I'm pretty sure their, their garbage trucks run on Tuesday. Uh, but some of the dumpsters were empty that I checked. It's still today, I don't know if they just haven't thrown anything or if their dumpster or their garbage day is a different day. But I was pretty excited with it. I got some goodies for myself, goodies to give away, goodies to donate, all kinds of good stuff. You guys can see I have bags of pop bottles down here. If you are from a state that has a bottle return, you save your bottles and you return them. So every can in there is 10 cents to me. So that's probably close to $20 in pop bottles right there. So it's pretty nice. And I can recycle. They don't have to go in the landfill. All right, guys come to the end here so thank you guys for watching if you liked it hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to share and subscribe and i will see you on the next one bye